Hey Scott, and bienvenido a mi casa. Last week there was no video. I was supposed to be here on the beaches of Brighton talking about dark matter as part of soapbox science. If you haven't heard of this before, it's an amazing initiative to raise awareness of the research that women in science are doing. Instead, I was here. Yep, yeah, that's right, I was sick. And between being sick and being on the beach, I know which one I would prefer. So to make up for it, this week I'm gonna be talking about dark matter. So let's get right into it. Everything around us is not what it seems. The water, the grass, the air, all of this combined only makes up about 10% of the matter in the universe. The remaining 90% is the elusive dark matter and it's still missing. It doesn't emit any light, so we can't see it, but there should be millions of these particles flowing through us all the time. In fact, there's even a theory that dark matter wiped out the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are not the only thing to have suffered a mass extinction event. A mass extinction event occurs every 30 million years or so. Dark matter tends to cluster along the plane of our galaxy and our sun and our solar system tends to bob up and down through this plane, just like a cork does bobbing on the water. This also occurs every 30 million years or so. And there's a theory that the dense dark matter region has a gravitational influence on comets and asteroids, making big impact events more likely. We've built the Large Hadron Collider a huge tunnel stretching across France and Switzerland, smashing particles together, hoping to create a dark matter particle. We've built detectors deep beneath the surface of the South Pole, hoping to catch a glimpse of dark matter decay, but so far we've come up with nothing. Maybe dark matter isn't real, but so far it's the best explanation we have for things like this, the bullet cluster two galaxy clusters colliding together. Here you can see the stars and the galaxies, hot gas in red, and the dark matter, which is weakly interacting in blue. Scientists have been trying to find dark matter since its discovery in 1933. Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky noticed that galaxies in clusters of galaxies were orbiting each other way too quickly. They should be flying off in all directions, just like when you go too fast on a merry-go-round, if the gravity holding them together is only coming from the stars alone. Dark matter is like the invisible glue of the universe holding everything together, and there's plenty of it. But the only way that we can see it is indirectly through an effect known as gravitational lensing. This is where the gravity of the dark matter is able to influence the light path of distant galaxies, perturbing the shape of the galaxies. And by measuring the shapes of many faraway galaxies, we can figure out just where the dark matter in the universe is and how much of it there is. There are many candidates for what dark matter might be. WIMPs are a hypothetical particle that interact very weakly via gravity or any force weaker than the weak nuclear force. Machos are massive astrophysical compact halo objects. They're made out of normal baryonic matter and are things like black holes, brown dwarfs, neutron stars, and sterile neutrinos, which are also a hypothetical particle that are slower than normal neutrinos and unlike normal neutrinos, do not interact by the weak nuclear force. If dark matter is macros, so normal astronomical objects like black holes and planets, then they're going to be pretty difficult to detect. We're going to have to build bigger and better telescopes to try and find them. If it's a hypothetical particle, like a WIMP, then we have potentially some new beyond standard model physics going on. And if it's something else, well, then I have no idea what the implications might be but it will be really interesting to learn about new physics and either way, it will be great for science. 
Thanks for watching my video. Let me know in the comment section below what you think dark matter could be. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, share and subscribe.